Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, the United States Army Military District of Washington and the soldiers of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone welcome you to this year's American Holiday Festival. At this time, please welcome to the stage the leader and commander of the United States Army Band, Colonel Bruce R. Pulver.
Join us now in welcoming our host for this evening's performance, the Commanding General of the United States Army Military District of Washington and the Joint Task Force National Capital Region, Major General Alan Pepin. We are pleased to share a message with you from the Chief of Staff and Sergeant Major of the Army. Hello, I'm General Jim McConville, the 40th Chief of Staff of the United States Army. And I'm Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinston. Music has a special way of bringing people together. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the different traditions of the season. Some of my favorite memories in the Army are enjoying the holidays with my soldiers and our families. Sharing our unique traditions remind us that the strength of our army is the people who know us the best, our squad. Around this time each year, our bands travel the world to celebrate with our soldiers away from home. It's one of our favorite holiday traditions, and we are honored to share with you some of the finest musicians in our nation, the U.S. Army Band, Persians Own. As you listen, remember our soldiers serving all around the world, away from their loved ones. And to our veterans, retired soldiers for life, and their family members watching this performance, we thank you for your service and commitment to our Army. From my families to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy Holidays. Happy holidays. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how excited we are to be here tonight back in Constitution Hall after three long years live and in person. We've got Santa Claus in the house tonight. Yeah. You have no idea how difficult it is to book him this time of year. He was very concerned about the cost of parking his sleigh here in D.C until I told him it was on the house. Wow. You know, someday I'm gonna make the person who writes these jokes come up here and tell them. I'm just kidding, it's me. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, the holidays are a time of tradition. Cards, cookies, music, mistletoe, fruitcake, eggnog, poinsettias and even ugly sweaters. No reason to raise your hand, sir. I can see you from here, thanks. Well, traditions become memories that tie us to our past and open up the present. And today we celebrate them all, the ones we were given, the ones we keep, and the ones we pass on. Now, in my house growing up, I always tried to sneak out of bed on Christmas Eve and catch a glimpse of Santa Claus. And one time, I actually saw him. Apparently, the elves must have put a bicycle seat on backwards because I saw Santa trying to fix it, and I don't know what language elves use, but Santa was definitely using words I had never heard before. <laughs> well, Mom woke up, and well, it went a little something like this. 
tell you about the time that I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus? Well, this is what happened. She had read to me a story that night of how the Grinch stole Christmas, and I got really worried. So late at night, I crept down the stairs just to take a peep. The Christmas tree was right where it should have been, but underneath the mistletoe, Lo and behold, then I saw Mommy tickle Santa Claus underneath the spirit of snow. this time of year, Jewish communities around the world gather together to celebrate Hanukkah, which commemorates the Maccabees' fight for religious freedom over 2,000 years ago. Known as the Festival of Lights, Hanukkah celebrates the miracle of a single day's supply of oil, which burned brightly for eight days and nights in the Holy Temple. Hanukkah traditions include food, gifts, games, and eight candles one for each night, shedding a sweet light that reminds us of days long ago.
All right, well, who's out there ready to hear some traditional Irish music? Well, you better be, because we're about to play some. This here's a mandolin that I have. Someone said it looks like a guitar that's been left in the dryer too long. We're going to do uh, three tunes for you. The first one is an old uh, Irish tune that uh, is sung in Gaelic language. Uh, the tune is translated, That Town, That Night in Bethlehem. And uh, then we're going to do two reels for you. The first one is uh, entitled Cooley's Reel, named after a famous musician that came over from Ireland in the early 20th century, Joe Cooley. And the last one is a traditional Irish reel called Christmas Eve Reel. Thank you. 
Well, since our show is all about holiday traditions, I'm kind of curious about some of your holiday traditions. How many people out there are going to have some fruitcake this holiday season? A couple of brave souls. I got a fruitcake last year as a gift. I've been using it as a pincushion. That's not true. It's a doorstop. How about eggnog? Where are the eggnog fans out there? Yes. All right, that's very... How about boiled custard? Anybody? Just me. Oh. Awkward. How many people are going to have some turkey this holiday season? A little turkey? Some ham? Lasagna? Thank you, sir. All right, how many people uh, believe in putting up a live tree, like a real tree, decorating a real tree? Yeah. Okay. How about an artificial tree? Festivus pole. All right. Well, speaking of traditions at our annual American Holiday Festival show, we have made a tradition of our own by featuring this next ensemble that is unlike any other across our armed forces. Ever since General George Washington crossed the Delaware River on a cold Christmas night in 1776, Military musicians have helped lead soldiers in battle and inspire the will to fight and win. Today, the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps represents the soundtrack of the American story as they proudly carry on traditions that date back to the birth of our republic. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps.
just across the river from where we are tonight, stands Arlington National Cemetery, our nation's most hallowed ground. This is the final resting place for nearly 400,000 active duty service members, veterans, and their families. This historic cemetery bears witness to American heritage and the military service and sacrifice of men and women in uniform throughout our history. The soldiers of the U.S. Army Band are entrusted with the sacred duty of performing military honors for more than 3,000 fallen service members every year, ensuring that our veterans are laid to rest with dignity and respect. An annual holiday tradition at Arlington is the laying of wreaths throughout the cemetery to honor those who have defended and protected our freedoms.
By the way, this year the wreaths will be laid at Arlington Cemetery on December 17th. So if you would like to volunteer to lay wreaths, you can do that at wreathsacrossamerica.org. That's where you can register online. Next up, we feature two chamber ensembles. First, an arrangement for a woodwind quintet called Umoja, which is the Swahili word for unity and is the first day of seven in the celebration of Kwanzaa. The principle of Umoja is to strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Traditional Kwanzaa celebrations include food, gifts, candles, decorating, and of course, music. Then our Latin music ensemble performs a medley of music from the nine day celebration of the Novena, which begins on December 16th and ends on December 24th. During each night of the Novena, family and friends pray, eat, and sing songs called Vijancicos together, often accompanied by traditional musical instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Umoja and Novena.
Wow. That was pretty cool, huh? That was Sergeant First, Sergeant First Class Chris Keaton on the Congas. How about that solo, huh? Yeah. I have no idea how he does that. I'm just kidding, I do. I just can't do it. All right, let's find out more about your holiday traditions. How many people are going to send out cards sometime this year? You're sending out cards, yeah, all right. How many people have already sent their cards out? Not too many. All right, you're going to get them out by Christmas, New Year's, Groundhog Day. How many people send out like a letter this time of year, a family letter? Anybody send that? All right, how many people read those letters? Oh, this all right. Anybody set out cookies and milk for Santa Claus? Anybody do that? Yeah? Maybe uh, carrots and juice, something healthier? Tofu and kale? Apparently, in, in England, they put out minced pies and mulled wine, which explains the terrible gifts those kids must get over there. All right, let's find out uh, about your favorite, favorite Christmas movie. Let's go uh, A Christmas Story. Favorite Christmas movie. Okay. How about Christmas Vacation? Home Alone. Die Hard. All right, look, I know there's some controversy about whether Die Hard is actually a Christmas movie. But it has two things going for it. One, it has actual Christmas music. And two, it quotes one of the most widely known poems ever written. Now, this poem was first published anonymously in the Troy Sentinel on December 23rd, 1823, and describes a chance encounter with a curious visitor riding on a miniature sleigh carried by eight tiny reindeer. This poem has served as the inspiration for its own feature film and two television specials, but more importantly, dramatic readings of the poem have become a traditional part of family gatherings at Christmas. Featuring narration by Sergeant First Class Brendan Curran and illustrations by our very own Sergeant First Class Dustin Mollick, here is The Night Before Christmas. the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I, in my cap, had just settled down for a long, 
winter snap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick more rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all! As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop his coursers they flew with a sleigh full of St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, <laughs> and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. His sleigh to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good.
of all holiday traditions here at home and around the world, music and singing are perhaps the most universal. In fact, if you want to sing along with your favorite Christmas hits around here, you just need to turn on your radio around Labor Day. <laughs> Speaking of singing, I used to be in a barbershop group called the Jailhouse Quartet. Thank you. <laughs> well, we tried to make it big, but the Jailhouse Quartet never made it because we were always behind a few bars and never found the key. Wow. That almost hurt to say. Well, if you've been waiting to be part of this show, now is your chance to let it go. We're going to play a medley of your holiday favorites. If you know them, sing out loud. And if you don't, sing louder.
Great job, you're all hired. I hope you're not working on New Year's. Well, it is the season of gift giving, and if you are looking for someone to give a gift to, consider me. I did not get a lot of gifts growing up. In fact, for my birthday, all I ever got was older. That's terrible. Actually, if you would like to give us a gift this year, you can go to our website, usarmyband.com, when you get home tonight. If you go up to the upper right-hand corner, there's a button that says Feedback. You click on that, and you tell us what you thought about tonight's show. You can actually give us a rating of one to five stars when you go on there. So five stars, basically, is what we're talking about here. <laughs> or six, or whatever you can get in there. There's a few questions you can answer as well, and you can give us any feedback that you'd like. We would love to hear from you. So, usarmyband.com when you get home tonight. Thank you. All right, well, we've got a few more songs, but I want to say on behalf of Colonel Pulver and all the members of Pershing Zone, thanks for joining us for our American Holiday Festival. We truly hope you are enjoying it. As we wrap up our show, we wish all of you the happiest of holidays. May the light of the season fill your heart and the music fill your soul. As the spirit of hope and joy spreads across our land, over the hills, and everywhere. Fear and trembled with 